Brad Jamar from Mythbusters and coming to your age, and he's here right now. Unfortunately, I'm not going to set anything on fire or blow anything up. These things are very hard to get through TSA. The reason that we have M5, and uh, that's where Adam and Jamie, that's Jamie's original shop, and the M5, uh, I remember asking Jamie about this, what does M5 stand for? Because it's a play on the MI6, the, uh, the British Secret Service, right? James Bond. Jamie actually is a really huge uh, James Bond fan, if you didn't know that. Um, but he's like, oh, I want to have, you know, M5. M5I. So what's the, what does the M stand for? Movies, monsters, <laughs> mechanics, machining. I'm thinking to myself, mm, mustache. <laughs> Being an engineer, my back, my contribution at ILM was uh, to light. So this is this is not computer. This is way before, well, not way before, but before computer graphics was in everything. They would have these giant models, miniatures, and uh, the miniatures would be really detailed to look like the real thing. They'd have all these tiny lights in them, sometimes by you know fiber optic hairs. Yoda, for example, I didn't work on Yoda, the original one. Um, Yoda's composed of this foam called SRAM, and it has, over time, it starts to deteriorate. There are Yodas that are in the archives of the light bulb. Like zombie Yoda. <laughs> so this was the first major movie I worked on. It's called Jurassic Park, uh, The Lost World Jurassic Park. This is um, Jurassic Park Stadium, San Diego. It's kind of like SeaWorld, but with dinosaurs. But that's what I would do, is all these little lights. Oh dear, I was gonna take this one. Anyway, okay, we'll talk about this.